Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, I want to talk about how you can farm the Cinta, as well as technically the Enigma Gyrums for like the Owl and stuff. If you don't know what the Cinta is, it is a new bow that dropped in Duveri Paradox. If you go to your inventory, you can see like I've farmed up two parts of there, two parts of that, two parts of the regular Cinta, and it is a very strong bow, which is very reminiscent and similar to the Natarak bow from the New War. Charge shot is insanely strong and is a really high crit multiplier. The perfect shot is a heat damage, uh, more of a status one, but lower crit. And then the quick shot is high status, lower crit, and lower damage. Pretty normal there. So it's a really cool bow, like long bow, really long draw time, but pretty strong overall. And this is how we farm it. What you need to do is you need to go into Duveri Paradox. You can do it either solo or public, your choice. And you have to run the Duveri experience. You can't do it in the lone story. It has to be the Duveri experience. If you do it in solo, only solo puzzles will spawn. But if you do it in a group, there are multiple group puzzles that can spawn. So I choose to do it solo sometimes just to like run around myself, but you can do it in a group public match or just like people you know. Just in case you were wondering, it's definitely recommended you do it with people you know, but hey, it is what it is. And chances are this grind will take some time. What you need to do is you need to look for the owl statues in the open world, okay? You need to look for the owl statues. They are everywhere. You can look for them and use your guiding hand like that. That helps find them and they show up as like a pingable target. That being said, it's hard to find them very easily just in general. What you wanna do is just fly around looking for them while you slowly ping your guiding hand, maybe look for the little blue ping. And then if you're lucky, you'll see it. If you're unlucky, maybe you won't. It's a huge pain in the butt, okay? So essentially just fly around. I've noticed that the statues just spawn everywhere. Some of them spawn underground. They, they can be literally everywhere. It's such a pain in the butt. But I'm gonna cut to one of the owl puzzles once we find it so that I can actually explain it. So yeah, now we're gonna continue looking for it. Okay, there we go. So this is what the general statues are going to look like. It's hard to see them. They do ping and they, they do emit a blue light. But these are the statues for the owl. What you need to do is get three of the little target points to match these. It's a C, X, and an E kind of, you know, it doesn't matter. You need to look around for these because you're going to need to shoot this down. These sometimes are a part of the puzzle. Either they require you to shoot it down or you need to throw a coin in them or you need to shoot at them. So. What you have to do essentially is we see that this one is uh, already has a coin in it. We have to uh, mark this one to match over here. Oh crap. We see the top one there is C. That was just C. Let me remake it there. I should probably mention the only difference from the single player to the two player uh, statue puzzles are they require two people in multiplayer. One person essentially will have to stand on a pressure plate and then run to the other thing here to shoot it. So these things, you just have to match up one, two, and then probably one of these in order to get that. They will also have blue points like this, like little blue circle ones. What you need to do is get a coin throw the coin in there and then match the coin to this and then shoot it back out. Hopefully we'll do that. But this uh, puzzle requires a lot of different steps. It also has one of these. This is a little charging panel. So you shoot that, that goes all the way over here, charges to shoot this, which charges to shoot open here. 
What I need to do is find a coin in order to throw in there. The coins are like little discs that match that. So it's those types of discs. I have a feeling the coin is in there because they tend to go in like those type of structures. Like these little uh, circle ones kind of matching that. So how I get up there is I can either just fly up there with my animal or I can shoot the tubular bell. Right? And then you go X, you beam up. A lot of these, you can't shoot them down, but some of them you can shoot down. Or you can hit X to push them down. So luckily this puzzle contains an element of everything from the quest. So you'll see that this coin, I pick it up and I'm going to want to throw it in both there and here. But first, I'm going to want to throw it in this one, because you can see that one's emitting kind of a blue, right? That means I can throw the coin in there, and now I have to match for this one. It looks like this is the third one. So I match the E there. Perfect. Now, you may notice I only have one coin. I shoot the coin out shooting the bottom there. Since this was one of the circles that was, like, emitting a blue, it actually saves what the last coin in there was. So now I just shoot here to charge that, shoot here to charge this, and then this one isn't emitting any blue. I have to throw my coin in there, and the coin has to stay in there. And now I just mix the uh, match the coin to what the final piece is there. And that is how you do the owl puzzles, right? That is it. The only difference between this and do, like two player is you need two players for it. The two players will have to go up to the owl chest. We got a Sinta Grip blueprint. Yes! Now, the last thing I need is the string. That is how you farm the Sinta. You do these owl puzzles. Again, only difference between one and, like, multiplayer is you require two people on some of them. Both of these two players will have to walk up to it and hit X to start it. And then they will sometimes just have a pressure plate that one person stands on while the other person shoots at the things to do the puzzle. So the core mechanics and concept of the puzzle is the exact same. Either way, that is how you farm the Sinta, as well as the like blue medallion coin uh, item in order to get the little owl cosmetic. So yeah, hopefully that helped. If it did, subscribe, like, join the YouTube membership, subscribe Twitch Prime on Twitch, all that jazz. And yeah, thank you, thank you.